Okay, so continuing with the refined painting layer, I have those dark spots in. You'll see what a difference refined painting makes, right? But if we remove everything else, you see that they're just accents, right? So it's the base painting that's doing most of the work. Absolutely. And that depth behind the eyes. You can see that in the gray layer. So let's continue. Really focus on giving color to the value areas. Especially the focal points. Playing with warms and cools. Working with the sketch. Not trying to hide and smooth the work, but rather keep the energy of everything that goes into it, all the layers. That to me is the fun of uh, imitating drier media like crayon or pastel. You get to kind of see everything that goes into it very clearly. And this is the only digital painting demo I've done where I've kept the brush at 100% the whole time. And that's because it's a, a textured brush, a dual brush in its settings, which is made to only get darker as you press harder. And so it kind of naturally blends with the colors underneath it. But the, the downside of it is it's taking a while, right? So I'm going to get rid of some of these other references. Oh, I hate to lose this one, though. That's really what I want. Let's maybe just stay on this one for a bit. Maybe this is the only one I keep, actually. Let's close the Latrec. Oh, I love that for the background. Oh, it's a tough call. Because this, this cross hatching in the background here is how I want to finish this off. You see, you kind of work with the complements. My brush just is not keeping up with me. And that is frustrating. Let's see, now because I know a lot of these base painting layers I'm, I'm good with, I don't think I need to, well, what I can do is I can save it with those layers. But now I'm going to combine all of these base painting layers together. So I just have a gray, the base painting, my refined painting, and my sketch. Um, and that should reduce my memory, and I'll save it as a different name.
This is no longer my sketch, this is my painting. Because I don't want to take the time to restart the computer and clear the cache, though that would help as well. But when you notice your brush is lagging, you, you have to take action. It doesn't seem to matter how how new your computer is. It seems to Photoshop always seems to push the limits. But I am doing this at 18 by 24 inches at over 300 pixels per inch. So this is printing full poster size set up to to print that that resolution. So it is asking a lot of it. Come on, you can do it. All right, maybe after this demo, I'll, I'll restart. Because this is not when you want it to start slowing down on you. So sitting back and kind of squinting, looking at the, the navigator, you know, some of these colors are a little too strong, like the green in the hair, but they're, they're all coming around. So I might even start thinking about backgrounds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit Photoshop completely so I can restart it. I'm gonna, all right, I restarted Photoshop because sometimes you just have to, and now I'm back. Though it can be dull to watch someone just work on the refined part of a painting, know that what I'm doing is simply looking at the values, looking at the shapes, trying to bridge them together, using color, warms and cools, following the, the cross contour of the face where I can, trying to build texture, personality, and this will go on for a while. The refined painting is where you're, you're giving it your own personality, your own um, reactions each time you paint as you react to what's there. That's what builds your take on the subject rather than a, just a photograph or something else. I'm stealing colors mostly from myself or from the Toulouse-Lautrec portrait of Van Gogh has lots of beautiful little textured colors hidden in there. And that all have a warmth and a passion to them that I wanted for this portrait. See all those darks I put in early on, I now get to feather out from. And so I have the depth of the shadow 
I don't lose that. But I get to put in those layers of detail now to add to it. even steal from the colored photograph. By squinting, kind of looking at the value, I see I'm making this ear still too light. There's a little bit of hair behind it that I can use to frame the cheek. I'm glancing over at the navigator every once in a while so I get kind of the big picture, long view of it. In traditional painting, generally that's done with a mirror that the artist keeps close to their canvas or paper so that they can kind of look at the painting through the mirror, not only to reverse it, which is a helpful tool every once in a while, but also just to see it from a distance so you don't have to always be walking back and forth um, so to try reversing it i could just very quickly hold down option top merge everything together and then say um, free transform command t flip horizontal right and that reverses it, it looks a little bit like donald trump that way but still looks human, still everything lines up. I could do that with my reference too. Just say, select all, transform, flip horizontal. You'll see that. So that can be an interesting way to kind of check your your work. Maybe even work on it this way a little bit. And it shows maybe I can cut in on this side a little. I don't want to do this on this combined layer. And I'm still not letting myself zoom in. I haven't erased at all. 